Hey guys, Editing Vice here. The video you're about to watch is from a stream we did before the new information drop. That means in this video, I only talk about the things we see in the trailer and not about the new stuff. Just a heads up to prevent confusion. If you like the content, consider to subscribe and like the video. We will do more stuff when Sunbreak comes out. Enjoy! Let's talk about Heavy Bowgun. First things first, let's pull this one up. We're gonna talk about first setting sun. So, velocity of ammo decreases. So, your ammo flies slower. Firing pierce ammo, multi hit ammo. Boost the total number of hits. Multi hit ammo. That's not only pierce. It says piercing ammo, which is pierce and all the elemental pierce stuff. But multi hit ammo, isn't that spread and shrapnel as well? Spread is technically multi-hit, as well as shrapnel. Multiple hits. I don't know if they mean hits after each other, successive hits. But multi-hit is vague, because there are multiple ammos with multiple hit. Class is technically a multi-hit ammo, because it hits multiple times. But it most likely doesn't get buffed by setting sun at all. Splicing is technically a multi-hit ammo type, but it won't get buffed, that's for sure. Pierce, getting buffed, obviously. We don't know by how much, we don't see any damage numbers, but what we see as well is that why wouldn't Snipe get the buff? It also gets multiple hits, and Eric is right in the chat. Because it travels slower and it gets more hits, you get more hits on the good hit zone. There are some more questions. For example, if you set this up, like Longsword, do other people profit from it? Do other people also get the, the more ticks? if they shoot through it. And same for longsword, what if multiple people set it up? Does it stack? And the video indicates it's only one wire buck, because there's only one wire buck circling around. But that's basically it. There are a lot of questions about this skill. I'm not sure what to, what to make out of it. But it seems okay, since what I know about Pierce and stuff, Pierce is not really used. The only really usable weapon with Pierce is the Naga Light Bowgun because rapid fire. But other than that, there's nothing really that uses Pierce. That's basically it for setting sun. Let's talk about crouching shot. The reason they show this one is strange because you have setting sun as a silk bind attack, as a silk bind move. But we don't see what the switch skill is for setting sun. That's weird. And that would tell me that we get more switch skills. If you look at the trailer or the, the event they had when they showed off the swapping stuff, they had 5 switch skills and then you can swap and you have 10. But I think you don't have 10, you have maybe, you have most likely more. So you can switch between even more. But it's, I think it's a good thing they don't show everything. So uh, there's actually stuff we can, we as player can explore, unlike in Rise, where they actually showed everything before the game even released. That was a bad thing. Nonetheless, crouching shot. So uh, immediately what we see, it's like the Horizon Zero Dawn light bowgun from World. You crouch down, your fire rate increases. I think it also says it here. You're not being able to move. You have reduced recoil and you, uh, you are able to, rep, uh, to fire in rapid succession. And the longer you fire, the higher your fire rate. But you can overheat your bowgun. And if it's overheated, you cannot fire until it's cooled down. So it's basically like the Horizon Zero Dawn light bowgun, just a little bit different. That a little tiny bit because you cannot move. It also doesn't work with certain ammo types, which makes sense. I mean, what do you expect? Rapid fire sticky? Rapid fire class? That, that wouldn't work. The question is, can you stop shooting? Like we see right here, he's setting up the setting sun, and now he starts shooting. The question is, can you roll out of it to prevent overheating? Do you have a separate overheating uh, gauge somewhere on the screen? Where you can see, okay, if I shoot one more, my heavy bowgun gets overheated. How does it work with ammo consumption? If we slow it down a little bit to 50, 
and we let it play right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve shots. So you can fire twelve shots before you, you stop, basically. I'm not sure if this now, after the 12 shots, counts as overheating, because I don't see any indicator for that. But maybe you have a gauge any somewhere on the screen. But arrow consumption as well, you're shooting 12 rounds. What if you don't have a clip of 12? What if you have less? What if you have more? Is it always 12? We don't know that one. And how long is the cooldown if your bowgun actually overheats? Because after this right here, he doesn't shoot anymore. So we don't know, does it, does it change? What, what, what do you do? At the end, I think Heavy Bowgun got good stuff. I think Setting Sun actually buffing Pierce, which was not used that much before, is a good thing. And Charge Shot, which was really not used before, to Crouching Shot to give more of a tank feeling, is, I, I think that's, that's a good thing. We have to see how it works out. But I think they also showed it off really good. That he's setting up setting sun and then doing the crouching shot to show that they both work together. It's a good thing they did that. I think Heavy Bogan is also one of the winners of this. Of this whole showcase in total. I like it.